Hello, welcome back to Rook Gypsy Plays Pokemon Crystal. This is part 7, I believe. Yeah, so. Now that we're in this uh, predicament, I'm going to switch on my Pokemon. My four mains are uh, doing not too great right now, so. Switch it up a bit. Also, this place is not Pat, is a. Uh, I can't go that way anymore, so I gotta go uh, turn around. Oh, the heat is killing me. It was already pretty bad this morning, but now it's like, uh... It's already nighttime, and it's still like... I came home today, I was like, oh no. My house is absolutely warm. A disgusting warm feeling all throughout my house. I was like, no... That's a terrible feeling. Why? Uh, no choice. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just this constant disgusting feeling. And then, of course, because of that, it's like, alright, well, my body is sort of radiating heat as well. Not a great feeling. Yeah, definitely not a great feeling. Everything seems a bit sluggish. Maybe I have a fever, I don't know. My head is warm. But I don't think it's like over 100 degrees. There's probably no way that's... There's no way it's over 100 degrees at this point. Uh, probably just dehydrated. Ooh. I keep thinking to myself, I want to drink something nice, cold, and sweet. <sighs> something refreshing. The problem, of course, is I don't have anything like that at home. There's pretty much nothing that's refreshing in this house. And cold. I guess if I... Like, if I could make myself an iced tea, that might be nice. I just need to find some, like, fruit syrup. I like the fruity iced teas and not just plain iced tea, because plain iced tea is a bit... Well, if you add sugar to plain iced tea, it's just sweet tea. And I don't really want to drink that right now. Well, I do want, like, something fruity, like a juice or something, but... There's not a lot of that around the house. And I'm trying not to drink soda, because that's terrible for you. I don't think drinking sugar water is any better, but still. Huh. I've been trying to function off of ice water, but... Uh, I don't think it's working very well. I mean, it is working, but... I feel like it's not... Satisfying anything from mine. I'm just drinking a drink of water. I'm just like, oh, it's so bland. And I'm like, oh, great. Now I'm some disgusting little kid. Won't even drink ice water. <sighs> I disappoint myself. Oh, well. <sighs> Every day is thirsty and thirsty and thirsty. This is like day two of like sleepless nights. It just means that like when I went to sleep, I was like, uh oh, quick attack. Yes. Get rid of smoke screen. Actually Lear might have been better, but oh well. Uh-huh. Go Jigglypuff. Uh, it's adorable what you think you can do, but you're nothing. Yeah, I just have a sweet tooth right now. It's weird that, like, the two things I really want to drink right now is either some sort of fruity, like, juice drink, or, uh, a nice smoothie or milkshake or something. Could definitely go for a milkshake. Uh, 
Uh. Okay. Regrettably, there's nowhere close to me that sells milkshakes. I'm gonna go heal. I think the closest. Oh, I guess there is a basket. Is it? No. There used to be a basket of robins close to my house, but that got. Uh. Changed to. What you called? That got changed into a tea shop. Because, you know, milk tea is more popular. Huh? Oh, seriously? Huh. Oh, it's Togepi. Oh, hi, Togepi. Yeah. Uh, 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 abandoned. Why? Okay. Don't want you at all. I guess I'll use that gear that I never used. Call that elm guy. I guess I could go to him now. That sounds like a lot of work that I don't want to do. Okay. Kill my Pokemon! Do 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 do. It's interesting that like the two things I want to drink are either pure fat, not pure fat. Sorry, it's either pure sugar or like you know, fat and sugar. Uh huh. I just talk to that police officer and they fight. Uh, it's a cop! <laughs> Hello, officer. How are you doing? What? Who goes there? Oh! Uh, no, don't shed that light on me! Go, girl, with. <laughs> like, oh no, I must answer in kind. Really? That's super effective? You're both the same level and you have type advantage. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe I should double think about Growlithe. Well, uh, uh, better get a lot of XP. You leveled up once. Okay. Okay. <sighs> what does Mom want? Okay, when you're shopping. Uh. You spent my money again. Why? Uh -huh. Whatever. Should I? Oh, potions. I bought potions, right? I bought super potions. I think there was something else that was like a little bit better. Go up there. No. I'm trying to collab a bit. I don't think I'm ready to fight. Hmm. What's her name? Winery? I don't know. I don't know where you're going, woman. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Send out a Vulpix! Great! Of course you have a Vulpix. Why wouldn't you have a Vulpix? Of course you do. Pokemon I can never own. Though, to be fair, I don't really like Vulpix to begin with. I just like it aesthetically, please saying. Aesthetically, I like Vulpix, but... I don't know, I wouldn't really use Vulpix in battle. Like, mainly because I think there are better fire Pokemon out there. I'd use a Growlithe because I'm more of a dog person, but... Oh, Sandshrew. 
I don't think he has any ground moves yet, though. Quick attack. Uh-huh. Huh. Quick attack. Be quick about it. Oh, you scratched, which hit. That'll do some damage. Defense curl. A bit late for that. Uh-huh. Definitely gonna switch Pokemon. I think I'll use Oh Sphere. For those of, the, of you, or no, sorry, Bunted. That's right, Bunted. Just cut him up. Cut up that Meryl. Huh. Okay. How does Fury cut to? A oh, Fury attack. Non-existent. Alright. In that case, just stick to cut. Uh, my water's out. This is taking quite a while. And with the poison soon. There we go, Meryl Fainted. That's good stuff. Uh huh, 186. That's what you're trying to do for, uh, showing off in front of your girlfriend. Wow, that's sad. She very much said, my, I'm dating a useless guy, so I rely on myself. And then you throw out a Pikachu, which is pretty much the opposite of what you could have meant. Oh well. I feel like your uh, boyfriend would have stand a better chance. Yeah, I think a fire type and then a uh, water type. So yeah, I mean, of course the Meryl would have lost, but still. Oh well. Level 22. Yay! My head hurts. Oh, my head hurts. That's not from a hangover, my head just hurts. There we go. I'll fight all these guys and I'll go up a bit and then come around. Diglett. Oh, right, he had a sand shrew, that's what it was. Sand shrew would have destroyed you. He had a Pikachu. There's nothing sand shrew could do to Pikachu. I mean, there's nothing Pikachu can do to sand shrew. Sandshrew's a ground type. Would have, like, all thunder attacks would have been useless on it. Alright, well. This guy's got a lot of diglets. They're dying pretty easily. Well, give me the experience points. Oh, Zubat. Head still hurts. I'm giving it days or something. Alright, defeated. I give. Okay, well, give me something good. Alright. I think that guy's a fire user. Just saying. Well, he's practicing his fire breathing, so he says. I'm just having feeling. The munchies. Or something sweet. I have this, uh, pop tart from earlier, so. My sister actually gave it to me. She got me a box of pop tarts, and she was like, I never tried this flavor before. Here, you try it. He's like, Do you want it? I was like, Sure. I think it's like ice cream sundae flavor or something.
I mean, it tastes just like chocolate. Pretty tasty. Ooh, double slap. That's good. That'd be useful, but it only does two slaps. Because it is double slap. Oh. He's the first juggler I've seen. I don't think I run into any more of these guys. It's quite interesting. You know, Professor I was a little scared because of Voltar. And then Rose was level 2. So. Yeah. May as well just switch to Kulava. I don't think he has any strong ones, but still. Shouldn't test him. That's one another two. That's not bad for level six. Oh no, this actually has pretty good experience. Considering he's only has like he has like very low level Pokemon. Well, like he starts with the lowest, incredibly low level, and then goes to like somewhat reasonably level for everyone else here. I really wonder what this one is going how much this XP this one's gonna give now. Especially since it survived one of my attacks. Huh. 309 XP points, yay! Huh. Okay. Right. I caught. So yeah, if you are wondering, I am just playing a, bu a bunch of remixes in the background. And lo and behold, all the cops seem to have Growlithe. Hmm. Man. I did think it was a little weird that, uh, like, I think they showed it in, uh, Pokemon Origins. No, not Origins. It's whatever this, like, Generations, that's what it was. That was the one where they showed, like, all the different, uh, behind the scenes of Pokemon. With, like, People doing different things. Like one of them was Gary challenging the four. You know, stuff like that. One of these has an item. Probably not. I think I need to switch up Pokemon out. Go with you. All those guys in the middle want to fight me. Some way, shape, or form. Not this one, but there's like something here. And I can go either one way or the other. Pick up an item. Paralyze heal. Yay, there we go. I did not know about this when I first played. It blew my mind when I saw it. And it's one of those things that, you know, I would have noticed 
had I been playing from first person, but I would have never noticed playing from, like, you know, up down. Uh, sure, why not? Let's attack it and see what happens. How much XP does it give me? How many experience points do I get? Doesn't deal that much damage, so... Hundred and six, not really worth it. Hmm. Well, just not interested. There we go. Despite all of these noobs. All right, you. All you know, right, you would be more impressive if uh, you had actually leveled up your Pikachu to a reasonable point that it can actually gain moves. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Your boat. Though the Thunderbolt does hurt. That'd be a berry. Huh. There we go. Yep, you're one Pokemon. Yes, why else would I look at you? Also, you could have just looked at me. I wasn't really... Oh, wait. This is a lass. That's not a picnicker. I guess they share the same sprite. Hmm. Goddish, huh? Hmm. Yep, it's looking out. Hmm. I think I used to think that Cubone was an adorable looking Pokemon. And I was always like, where do I catch this thing? And then I read the lore and I was like, oh, that's terrifying. Wow, you're a sick minded person. Whoever wrote that little story. Hmm. But I will say that was like also the most like boring episode of One Origins was the uh well, the most boring episode of One Origins was the one where they uh went to rescue Cubone's mother and stuff. Or the one at the, uh... When they had to go rescue Mr. Uh, Fuji or something. That was the worst Pokemon episode ever. I would have preferred them spending more time on the gym fights. Or anything else, really. Why is it that you have a thing for Snubble? But the Pokemon around you are all, uh, what are they called? Well, they're not Snubbles. Clefairy, that's what they are. Why is everything around you Clefairy, and the one that you love and use is a Snubble? Seriously. The heck, dude. The heck, miss. Beverly, you gotta figure yourself out. Oh good, you saw me. Uh huh. That's what you think. Are you a super nerd? You're probably a super nerd, aren't you? Nope, you're a schoolboy. Hi, Jack. Jack thinks he knows the world and challenge challenge a stranger. They know that the Jack know that he was gonna get crushed by a giant. And 
and so Jack never was able to build that beanstalk. He got utterly destroyed. Huh. Yep. You were burned to the ground, son. Okay. Now then, should I go on or should I go back? I'm gonna go back. Why? Because I'm tired. It'll be a good place to end the episode. Is back in front of Whitney. That would be the perfect place to end the episode. Hmm. There we go. Yes. Alright. Let's go over here, up here. We'll say hi to the neighbors first. Uh-huh. Your little sister. Oh my. She went to go visit a tree by herself. That's dangerous. Yeah, I mean, it's dangerous for a Pokemon, isn't it? I mean, sorry, it's dangerous, right? Just uh, standing there, looking at a wiggling tree. I know that they give me, like, a sprinkler bottle. And then, like, I use that to, uh, you know, use this spring little, like, squirter bottle to, like, like uh, it agitate the tree. But, uh, I don't know. Couldn't I do the same thing with, uh, I mean, couldn't I just get my, like, a total dial or something and, uh, just hit it with a water gun? I mean, just saying. You know, a little just a water gun, and then voila, you're done. Seriously. Oh, there's a Team Rocket member here. That's right. Uh, this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest scram? Uh, everyone here, the only ones that are annoying are the Team Rocket members. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh-huh. Nope. That's to be expected. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. What? What? Yeah. No? I guess it's cut, right? Yes. That was stupid. Alright. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I have the radio show thing. Cool. I just gotta hurry back. Three seconds, I can make it. Too far. I can make it. I can totally make it. Up one. Down one. The side. Down, 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 down. Hey, we're siblings! So, yeah. That's going to be the end of this episode. I'll keep a link in the description for the soundtrack I used for this episode. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And, uh, in the next episode, I will take on the infamous Whitney.
Gym Leader 3 of Goldenrod. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.